Hi there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're taking a look at a 1999 Mini Cooper, this one with an automatic transmission, which is very strange for me because this is my first time ever seeing, being in, or driving an automatic transmission Mini. A lot of you guys, people, a lot of you guys know that I used to own a Mini as my first car, and they are dear to my heart. So let's take a look at this one, which is pretty strange. It's a 1999 the second to last year of production of these cars and uh, yeah in the 41 years that they were being made improvements were made slowly but surely and uh, we'll take a look at what we have here okay so first off engine is a 1.3 liter Lower this here. Okay, give you a quick peek of the vehicle. Pretty classy looking. All right, let's look at the auction sheet. And after that, we'll go around the exterior and the interior and I'll show you the condition of the car. All right, so we have 1999 Rover Mini Cooper 1.3i. I stands for injection, 1300 cc. They just round that up. It's really 1275. Auction grade R because it's been in a front end accident. That has been repaired, of course. Interior C, 67,785 kilometers. Original green two toned paint with the original iconic Cooper stripes on the hood and pinstriping on the side with the Cooper emblem on the rear fender. Okay. This is a dealer car. What that means is it was original Japanese car, not from another country, which is important because they do have the AC and the Japanese model only. And this one here is a right-hand drive, which for the minis is cool because they were originally right-hand drive, but the left-hand drive ones seem to be a little bit more expensive for some reason. Leather seats in this one, fender mirrors. The fender mirrors were a Japanese thing. Of course, minis did have fender mirrors in the older ones, but for the Japanese model ones, what they did is they took off these mirrors before they sold them and put on these mirrors and the fender mirrors are cool they make the car a little bit more unique and uh, classic and in Japan fender mirrors are kind of a thing okay speaker modifications to the interior winter tires front accident repaired seat wrinkles and cracks front panel uh, has been replaced that's accident damage replaced Left to right front inner panel dented. Now from what I can see, it looks to be fine. And I don't see any signs of damage uh, to this uh, that I can find myself. Small scratches, small dents. Roof has paint cracks, small dent on that side there, and rock chip on the windshield. Now because the Mini is so small and the clipboard is so A4 size, I'm going to take it down to not distract from the looks of the car. And I turned on the running lights. This one here has Running lights that are like headlights, but dimmer. It's typically what you would run uh, if you're just driving around at dusk, but you don't want your headlights on. The body of it is in quite good condition. No signs of rust anywhere, and so that's a big plus for the Mini. The 12-inch wheels, they are not the Cooper wheels, but since they're running the winter tires, my assumption is that these are the winter spares, and then the Cooper wheels would go on in the summer. Unfortunately, it came just with those ones. Okay, later in the day, this side gets dark, so sorry about that. But this side is actually better looking than the other side. The only dent on the car is on the other side. 
It's really interesting for me to drive an automatic transmission version of the car because not only does it feel weird to be an automatic, but uh, this one being the Cooper, that's the sports car version with the auto, I think it gives it a suitable amount of power. I wouldn't go for a non-turbo with an auto, I think, but I'd like to try driving one. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the uh, things. First off, we got the very final version of the mini badge. This one looks very much like the BMW mini badge because I guess that's sort of what it is now. The BMW ones came very shortly after this generation ended. So those are the original fog lights on it. That hood is not closed all the way. Yes, it is. It's just not lined up because it's a mini. Clear marker lights, large size, and then the chrome is a little bit uh, unclear, needs a polish or a replacement. You don't need to replace it, but the parts for minis are so easy to find everywhere, and so sometimes it's easier just to replace. Okay, so we have a dent over here. It's on the rear fender. Let's see if you can notice it, because it's small. There it is, right behind the handle there. Have another look, see? It's tiny. Side sills are in great condition. No signs of any corrosion or anything wrong with it. That's good because minis and rust go hand in hand. Okay, uh, we are missing the pin striping on this section here. It's kind of faded to irrelevancy. Roof paint cracks. Hard to see in the video, I did get a better video of it than this, and there are marks from a carrier that used to be on it. You can see the circle there and the circle there. Probably needs a repaint on the roof. And uh, auction sheet says that uh, I took it off the windshield. <laughs> okay, here's the Cooper stripes. Let's people know that you're cool. And the back one says Mini Cooper with a wreath around it. Good looking badge there. The large blocky tail lights of the final generation and the original exhaust original suspension original brakes which are drums in the back and discs in the front and those are stock disc brakes meaning you can't put the 10 inch tires onto this mini without converting the brakes these brakes only fit under the 12 or the 13 inch wheels these ones these mini coopers could come with they came stock with 12 the sports pack version came stock with 13s being the largest size uh, wheels on any Mini. Okay, open the door. Everything seems to work well uh, in terms of the hardware. Mini hardware breaks really easily. Luckily, it's cheap to replace. This here is a good example of it. This one broke. Actually, I broke it because the key stopped working and I needed to put some gas into it because you can't ship a car that has no gas in it or they're going to break it at the port and they're not going to be as careful as I am. Interestingly, it comes with these wood panels here at the top. I think that's a nice little touch. They seem to be in good shape. The dashboard has some cracks in the dashboard wood panel, uh, pretty typical of the minis. And then this one here, here's an interesting thing. Usually it's at an angle like this and you pull it back, but because this piece is here, they decided, oh, just rotate it down and then you push it up in order to open the door. Okay, Mini with an airbag. That's really strange. So I think they started these in 1996 or 1997 with the airbags. And there's a discernible price difference between the airbag ones and the non-airbag ones. And I believe that has to do with import regulations. Some places only allow the ones with the airbags. Uh, I couldn't see the market demanding the airbag ones so much higher value otherwise uh, because if you drive a Mini, it's not like an airbag is going to help you that much, to be honest. I think it's just a regulation thing. Cooper floor mats, you can see the insignia there. Uh, it seems to be missing one of the pedals, but I guess that's the charm of the automatic transmission. I have to say it is pretty strange driving it. The transmission likes to go more than it likes to stop. And so automatic transmissions have what's called auto transmission creep, which is moving slowly forward when you take your foot off the brake. This one moves quickly forward when you take your foot off the brake. This has been hidden in a secret location that I'm not telling anybody except for the person who bought the car. The shifter is really weird. It's like you go from park 
to drive far end of it. it drives right here at the bottom so it's like shunk it's very fast and the furious i'm driving an automatic transmission and choo -choo -choo -choo. it's really fun gauges are nice i like the way that they light up with the auburn lamp in there kind of cool looking and then srs that's uh, your airbag there of course your signal is seat belt that's funny <laughs> seat belt's not on yes they do have that they have wires here to make sure that your seat belt is on because probably another regulation thing here's the cracks in the dashboard you can see the glove box which is barely big enough to put some gloves in it auction sheets in there and then cracked veneer here showing some of the original wood of the dashboard nice thing about the minis is everybody loves them and he made five and a half million of them and so you can get parts really easily for them in basically any country these seats are unique this is as far back as they go and i felt this one's a little bit harder to fit in than the one that i owned or some of the other ones that we've exported it could be because of the seats were changed slightly but i feel the seats sit up higher than they typically do we have some mild wear on the seats here and these seats so the one that i had they did not go back and forward like this these ones do they have a back and forward crank here so you can put them leaning back more if you want and in order to get into the back you can just pull this little handle here and it folds forward you can step into the back the original ones didn't have that and so you had to lift the entire seat which is done by this knob here and can't do it one hand but the entire seat lifts up you can still do that if you want to do old school but you don't need to anymore you can be new school and look at this a place to put stuff in the back you get seat belts that are mounted up here instead of the ones in my car that were mounted down there and look at this retractable seat belt also a new invention and little pockets here instead of just metal bins back seats are in good condition and if you want base in your face or on your backside because it's behind the seat now that one looks like a eight inch speaker my mini had a 10 inch woofer so take that <laughs> and uh, you still get the wood panels here in the back and speakers up there with a little bit of a peeling liner as you can see okay headliner is a little bit dirty but it's in good condition not saggy and it's soft and nice okay peeling on this Turn this open it up and if your stuff is too big to fit into the trunk you can set it onto this it can carry like probably a hundred no probably 50 kilograms without having any problems I remember as a uh, youth I guess sitting on this although my wires were longer and so this sat completely horizontal and me and my friends used to sit on on the back we didn't damage anything but we were lighter back then than we are now such as life and times okay looks like everything in here is pretty clear you get your uh s a x n n i'm not intentionally giving you the middle finger there n n that's your cooper keep that in mind if you're looking because sometimes you can buy coopers by accident some people don't know that they're coopers or or they're not coopers something strange about uh, this one i guess something not strange something that uh, is wrong with it is uh the radiator has two fans, one inside the engine bay and one in the fender well here. And one of those fans doesn't work, so you're going to want to get that fixed. Otherwise, condition looks to be pretty good with, I guess, I mean, we're at the end. I might as well spill the beans. I did mention this in the other video, but the automatic transmission has some weird problems with um, shifting and slipping and so when you tromp on it like it drives fine until you get aggressive and you tromp on it and then it revs up a lot but you don't get a lot of power and so something is a little bit weird there i would try changing the fluid with a high grade fluid that is an anti-slip additives in it and see if that works if not then uh maybe it's time to start taking things apart anyways this one here 1999 mini almost the newest mini that you can get. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.